Hi there, Henry Smith here from IamWorthyEnrich.com. Thanks very much for joining me today. So what this is about, for those who uh, have been watching this series of uh, this video series, they, they, you know what it's about. So welcome back. For those of you who are new, this is about wealth creation and action, the journey of an investor on, on a daily basis, um, building a, an investment portfolio in the cryptocurrency space, from a very humble beginning to seven figures. And just the day-to-day -day journey, what I go through, um, you know, what, what I'm thinking, what, what thoughts that come to my mind, messages I want to share, inspiration I want to give. And also following the market as it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, and as it does. Interesting, it creates a pattern, and so on and so forth. So, and to let you know that that's what, similar to what your journey will be as well. Now, you don't have to look at the market every day, to be honest with you, I'm just doing this for, documentation purposes really you know if i wasn't documenting this i wouldn't be looking at the markets every day um but before i continue i've got to, uh, got to stop and just remind you i do the disclaimer before i forget i'm not a financial planner or uh, advisor i'm not an accountant i'm not a cpa so do your own due diligence do your own research i'm just talking about what works for me also, um, understand that investments, all investments, do carry a degree of risk. So, um, do not invest more than you can afford to lose. Okay, so with that said, I'll continue. But so, what I'm going to do is I, I've been updating a spreadsheet of just the, the daily figures of my portfolio. And uh, I only started doing that from February 22nd, well, from February this year, should I say 2021, even though the investment was started in May last year. And you know, I just update it. That's what I do. And then talk about a few things. So I'm going to share my screen now to see if I can what is that? make sure I've got the right screen up and ready to go. Share my screen and just update today's figures like this. So this is the spreadsheet I've been updating. And uh, there's three columns. One is called the altcoin column. One is the Bitcoin column. And one is the, the total, basically. And that's the most important column to me, um, the total crypto uh, column. And as you can see, we've got the green, red, green, red, green, red. So when it goes forward, you know, in when, uh, over the previous day, we color that in green. And when it goes backward over the previous day, we color that in red. And so we've got, you know, forward, backward, forward, backward. It's just the way the market goes. And sometimes we have, you know, quite a few days goes backwards. So or backwards, forward, backwards, forward, backwards, you know, day after day. So it's just the way the market goes. So today is the 31st of May. Let's put that in there. And so it's the last day of the month. And I get my figures on this page here for the, I call it the asset summary, which is a, um, comes in from a live feed from CoinMarketCap into an asset portfolio. They're calculating the, the end results come out here and this particular portfolio consists of one whole Bitcoin and an assortment of the right altcoins or alternative coins, other coins apart from Bitcoin. So, and I'm not talking about Ethereum, I'm talking about other coins that are carefully uh, selected and researched and that are used, they're gonna be used in this portfolio. And um, so that's where these figures come from. And uh, on the top in the green is the total of this portfolio. And then on the right hand side, we have the same portfolio in the pound sterling or GBP, Great British Pound. So it's exactly the same portfolio, but just in pounds. And that's the spread at the moment, the, the percentage spread, which is going to change as we get to the end of this cycle. It's not for some several months from now, but it's good. You've got to watch that change. It'll probably go down to maybe 90, 10, or, or, or maybe even 95. Um, uh, 5.95 or something, I don't know. We'll see, that's why we're doing this. And so the figure I want right now is 147.968.81. One, uh, so time is this. So 147.968.51. just something like 958. 968, 81, numbers, list, list up, 9, 
968. Why did I change that? That was actually right in the first place. Turned it back to six. And 81, right? 81, yeah, great. So that is a that's an increase from yesterday. Okay. Oh, yesterday was an increase on the day before, so two. That stays green. Okay. And we'll come over here to the total amount. 184, 878. 62. 184, 878. Point, that's 62. That's a 62. 62, yeah. 878. 878. Great. So that will bring that down. Oop. Down. That's 11 on this today. So. We'll bring this down here. That's an increase. So it's all green, green all the way through. That's nice. Um, like I said, the market can go either way. We don't know which way the market's going to go. Nobody knows exactly. <coughs> so you know, one one day it's up, one day it's down. Um, it's, okay. So. That's the, the update. Uh, what I want to talk about is a couple of things. Number one, you know, the, 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 there's two there's two sure ways of making money in the cryptocurrency space, and there's so many different. There may be hundreds of other ways, but many of them are very risky, and most people don't make money with them. Only a few people make money with these risky methods. And one of them to trading, leverage trading, and um, different kinds of trading methods, trying to be smart, over smart, and so on. The, the true, the, you know, I, I can go over different ways, but there's no point going over, over the other different ways. The best, most reliable way is to buy and hold. If you buy and hold, whether it be over a four year cycle, of a one-year cycle, three-year cycle, four, 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 you know, four-year cycle. And that's the surest way to 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 create uh, success in the cryptocurrency market because the market will surely go up. And it seems simple, but it's it's, <coughs> it's um it's um well, it is simple, but it's not sometimes not easy to do because you get tempted, but um, by different kinds of emotional triggers to do with fear and greed, which we talked about, and um, fear or greed, should I say. So, the, but the best thing to do is to hold. Like, you know, if I look, think of a lot of the investors that were in the cryptocurrency space four years ago, in the last cycle, 2017. Many of them lost money and lost their shirt and so on and so forth. But the ones who held are doing, I've got a lot of money today. You know, they're millionaires. Some of them are multi-millionaires today. So that strategy definitely works. You know, the other method, again, is also to buy low and sell high. So to keep it simple, it's very, very simple. Buy low, sell high. That's the way you make money in crypto. And um, but not, you know, there's so many ways to keep away from leverage, keep away from borrowing. I would highly discourage borrowing because you don't know what, you know, which way the market will go. The market will surprise you. But one thing the market does predictably is go up over time. So basically, the key word there is having patience. Patience is the most important thing. When you're holding, especially if you bought at a good price, and when the market goes low again, to look at it as the market giving you or other investors a second chance to get in. Those who didn't get in at a certain time and then the market went up. When the market goes down again, it's like giving those people who missed the opportunity an opportunity, a second chance to get in the opportunity. For those who are already in the opportunity, it gives you opportunity to buy again if you have extra reserves at a cheaper price. So it helps to further strengthen your position. But the market doesn't disappoint if you don't try and be too clever. If you try and be too clever, 
um, you, usually you're not going to outsmart the market. It's very, very few people can outsmart the market, um, although many try. But to let the market work for you is to not play games, just buy and hold. Okay, buy and hold and just watch the market perform and grow over time because the market is growing. I mean, the market a year ago was only $250 billion. Not a year ago, so I would say, let's say 18 months, 15 to 18 months ago, it's around $250 billion. Now it's, you know, well over a trillion, one and a half trillion, 1.6 trillion, you know, so it's obviously grown. You understand? So if you just left your money there, it would have grown. No matter what, you didn't need to use any fancy technique. It takes no technique. And the market in four years' time, obviously this market is a four-year cycle. It goes in four-year cycles at this present time. And the market in four years' time is going to be bigger than it is now. So anything you buy now or invest in now, in four years' time will be bigger. And you might think, oh, four years is a long time. I don't want to wait four years. Well, four years isn't that long. You know, 2017, 2016 wasn't, wasn't that long. It really wasn't that long. You know, if you can think of some things you can remember back in 2016. I can remember some things in 2017, 2016. As vivid as almost like a few weeks ago, it feels like. So, and you need to remember that four years is going to come. So 2025 is going to come, whether you like it or not. No matter what you do, it's going to come. It's just going to be four years older. So how are you going to meet? How is it going to meet you? How are you going to be? It's going to be here. Okay, and eventually, that 2025 will be a history. Because when 2026, 2025 will be history. So that day will come and go. All right, what, what, you know, what are you going to do? What, how, is it, how are you going to be? If you put money in the right investments and you've left it, you're going to be fine. You know, you're, going to do, you're going to see the power of this industry, of this investment sector, and what it can do for wealth, wealth growth. But uh, like I said, the, the worst thing you can do is give yourself anxiety by watching the market every day. I'm doing this because of, like I said, I'm documenting something. And if I wasn't documenting it, I'd probably maybe look at it once a week or once, not even once a week, once a, once a week, once in two weeks, once a month maybe. Okay, because there's really nothing to do. The good thing about investing, there's nothing to do. You know, you just put your money there and you just leave it. You know, until a certain time in the cycle, obviously. And there's times you can sell and there's times you can buy uh, certain things. But um, that's the best way to have peace of mind and less anxiety. Understand the market always performs upwards, it's not disappointed. And if you've got the right mindset, you know, there's two parts of this, I say, from my perspective and what's worked for me. There's the wealth and prosperity mindset, there's the mat having that mature investment mindset as well or that wealth and prosperity mindset that will make sure you choose the right investments. And then there's the right investment strategy. Okay, the right investment strategy. Briefly, uh, and I'll probably touch on this in, in a future video, you know, the way to really make money is, is where the majority of money comes from is with, with the altcoins. And um, I'll probably save that to the next video. We'll talk about that in the next video, I remember. Um, but that's really where, you, where the majority of your money comes from. But I'll explain that in, in another video. But um, so the, having the right investment strategy starts with Bitcoin, which is a very important investment. And then, um, but we have the mindset strategy and basic investment strategy available for you for free to download, apply the mindset strategy, Start working on yourself. You've got to work on yourself more than you work on anything else. And once you've done that, you can then get access to you start deploying your money in an investment strategy, using your money sensibly. And then if you want a more advanced training with um, investment opportunities with the altcoins, then uh, we have a free webinar that we can get you on and, and you can learn more about that. Okay. But anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen just to show you how to get access to the free training I was talking about just now. And all you have to do is go to www.iamworthyenrich.com. The I Am Worthy Enrich 
means you are wealthy and rich, by the way. It's not about me saying it about myself. I say it to myself, but you need to say it about yourself. How to understand the game of money and play it well. You scroll down here to this little um, form, fill it in, name and email address, and I'll send you immediately access to the free trainer which you need to get involved in. There's some free resources that I include there, plus my own spin on a video on how I use these free resources, and that's the key there, how I use them. Follow the way I use them to a T, and you're going to get, I promise you, you'll get results. So uh, that's free for you. And then, like I said, if you want to find out more about the altcoins, you can email me or, or, or the team, and then we'll get you on a free webinar so that you can find out more about uh, access to the altcoins. Uh, in the meantime, I'd like you to um, please like, subscribe, and, and uh, hit the notification button on this video. And uh, I wish you a, a wonderful day. Have a fantastic day. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.